about to learn how to avoid some of these silly integral mistakes on your next exam, but only if you stick around until the end. For the first problem here, integrating 1 over x dx will have many students rewriting this expression as a polynomial. And the problem with this is that when you rewrite it as x to the negative first, you're thinking that you can integrate this just like any polynomial, but there's a problem. Try adding the one to the power here and dividing by it, and you're gonna already see that you're running into some chaos. When you integrate polynomials, there's already an exception to the rule, which basically says, you can only do it if x was not raised to the negative first to begin with. Tell me below if you see the answer of what this actually should be. And moving on to the next problem while you're thinking about that, the integral of e to the x squared dx on the surface looks like a really easy e power problem, but when you try u substitution, things are gonna start falling apart. And if you don't see it right away, that's okay. But when you let u equal x squared and take the derivative of both sides, you're gonna find that du will equal 2x dx. So we can just write this as the integral of e to the u du, right? Well, not so fast. The problem here is that because you said that du equals 2x dx, you don't have 2x in the original problem, right? You just have dx by itself. So you can't substitute for 2x dx if there was only a dx there. And so believe it or not, this integral does not have an elementary function as its solution. You can approximate it pretty well though, and I've got another video you can check out above if you're interested. And before I move on, do you want more ninja level math tricks? Then ninja click that subscribe button and check out the description below for some really awesome swag. And if you wanna join the membership. So if you're a member, by the way, you're gonna be able to watch these videos early before they're published. That way you don't miss them on your next exam. So let's move on to the next problem here, the integral from zero to pi of sine of x times cosine x dx. We are gonna try a u substitution method again here, and let's see if it actually works this time. I'm gonna let u equal sine of x, and taking the derivative now both sides, I will get that du equals cosine of x dx. And aha, check this out. You've got cosine x dx here for du, and in the original problem, look at this. On the very right part of it, you can actually substitute in for du because everything was there, right? So now when I rewrite the problem as the integral from zero to pi of u du, I made a big mistake here, do you see it? Okay, if you don't see it, let's talk about this for a second. With the original problem, you have the integral limits from zero to pi of x. However, u doesn't equal just x, u equals sine of x. So we are transforming from an x domain to a u domain. And the way we need to do this now is, since we're writing everything in terms of u and u is sine of x, we gotta take this expression right here and recalculate what our lower and upper limits of integration are going to be. So I'm gonna plug in the original lower limit of integration for x, which was zero, and this will give me a new lower limit of integration for u as sine of zero, which we know is zero. Now, when you repeat this for the upper limit of integration, x equals pi, we're gonna get that u equals sine of pi. Huh, which is also zero, imagine that. Well, that's kind of a tricky problem. Here's a bonus tip for you. Don't fall for this one. Whenever you see an integral now like this, that's gonna become an integral from zero to zero or from a lower limit and an upper limit where they both equal each other, save yourself some time on your exam. Don't think about it too hard. It's gonna be zero. There's no area to integrate, right? So moving on to the next problem, it's for you below. Tell me in the comments what kind of struggles you've been having on your exams when you're dealing with integrals or other mistakes you're making in general.